Hello and welcome to the Business Services Team Web Guide for Year-to-Date Budget Report. In this tutorial we will provide an overview of how to run reports on your department's budget and monitor the activity in your department's accounts. Navigate to Year-to-Date Budget Report located under Departmental Functions in the menu. From the ribbon click on Segment Find. Enter the account segments that should be used in the selection process for the report. The report prints only those accounts that meet the selection criteria. Selecting fewer segments will result in more information. Selecting more segments restricts the report to only accounts that meet all identified segments. For example, entering a 55 asterisk in the object field will return all objects that start with a 55, while entering 551000 will return only those accounts with this specific object. Click Accept to return to the main screen. The number of accounts that meet the entered segments are displayed at the bottom of the screen. If the number is too high or seems too low, you may return to Segment Find to redefine the search. Click Report Options in the ribbon. This is used to choose how the year-to-date budget report information is sorted and presented. The settings defined in the report options are saved for future reporting until changed. To access your saved settings, select Report Options from the Year-to-Date Budget Report program prior to creating reports. The sort sequence can be customized with subtotals and page breaks by sequence if needed. This is especially helpful when providing budget reports to individual teams. To create page breaks, check the box next to the appropriate segments. The report title is a required field. The program retains the last report title entered, but it can be changed as needed. Enter a value and include only accounts that use blank percent or greater of the budget to indicate which accounts to include based on the percent of the budget used. For example, if you enter 50% in this field, the report includes accounts with a percent used greater than or equal to 50%. This report can be used for negative balances by adjusting the report option to include only accounts that used 101% or greater of the budget. The most common selection is 0%, which results in a report that shows all budgeted accounts. Order Accounts by is used to select how to order the accounts on the report. This should be left at Full Account. Select Totals Only is used to summarize the data by the selected sequences and does not include transaction detail. Selecting this field makes the Print Full GL account and Roll Projects to Object fields inaccessible. In most cases, the checkbox should be left blank. Account Description should be left as Full Account. Select Print Full GL Account to print the full account number with each segment separated by a period instead of the Org Object Project Codes format. Role Projects to Object is used with Project Accounting. If selected, General Ledger accounts that have a project code under their common Org and Object are summarized. This option is not often used. Selecting Print Report Options includes the options on the report. This is helpful for redefining reports in the future. Year period defaults to current year and period, but the values can be changed. Use period 99 to retrieve the latest totals, including invoices that have not yet posted. In Carry Forward, always select Totals Gap, which includes current year and Carry Forward activity. Print Month to Date versions prints a Month to Date column on the report. This is not a commonly used option. In Format Type, always select Standard Format. Double Space prints the report in double spaced format and is only available if Totals Only is not selected. Suppress Zero Balance Accounts excludes accounts that have a zero budget if checked. Before requesting accounts to be set up based on running the year-to-date report, you will want to run the report with the field unchecked to verify the accounts exist. Next click Additional Options tab. Including requisition amounts should be checked. This provides a more accurate picture of available balances. 
The following selections pertaining to revenue are generally used by the Finance Department. Most users will leave these unchecked. Selecting the Print Revenues version headings causes the Revenue Related column heading to print rather than the standard column headings and there is no encumbrance column. Print Revenue as Credit defaults in as checked. Print Revenue Budgets as zero prints revenue budget amounts as zero. Include Fund Balance prints fund balance summary information at the end of each fund. Selecting Print Journal Detail extracts detail transactions from the ledger and prints detail lines for each account. When Print Journal Detail is selected, the range of years and periods is accessible and typically reflects one month's detail, but it can be set for year to date. Include Budget Entries should be checked along with Include Encumbered and Liquidated Entries. For Sort Options, from the drop-down, select Journal Entries or Purchase Order for Sort Options if Print Journal Detail is selected. Detail Format option defaults to Standard Format. Select Include Additional Journal Entry Comments only if you want to include Journal Entry Comments on the report. Multi-Year View is default view which uses the value set for each fund in the Chart of Account Segments program. Amounts totals exceed $999 million includes the amounts that exceed $999 million by displaying the account description on a separate line from the total. This box is primarily used by finance. We will now run a sample report to see what has been spent from your supply accounts, selecting the following parameters. Segment Find Enter Account 1100-0119-11-01000-55 in an asterisk. Click Accept. The search returns 35 records. Click Report Options and select Sequence 1, select Object, and Sequence 2, select Function. Check Total for each sequence. Report title is Year-to-Date Budget for Supplies. Select the following print options, 0% or greater of the budget. Order accounts by full account. Account description is full. Check print report options. Year period is 2018-99. Check suppress zero balance accounts. Click on the Additional Options tab and make sure the following options are checked. Include Requisition Amounts, Print Revenue as a Credit, Include Budget Entries, Include Encumbered and Liquidated Entries, Amounts Totals Exceed $999 Million, Click Accept and then click Return. From here, there are two options for printing your report. PDF or Excel. Selecting PDF provides an easy to read format which includes a blue hyperlink for the coding strip. Drill down capabilities are available. Exporting to Excel allows you to reduce the number of fields to be exported and manipulate the information. The blue hyperlinks are not available in Excel. Our next example shows how to run a report with journal detail using the same account segments. Navigate back to the header screen and select Report Options in the ribbon. Go to Report Title and update the description to Year-to-Date Budget for Supplies with Detail. This will help identify the type of information that is included in the report. Click on the Additional Options tab and check Print Journal Detail in order to select the range of years and periods you want to view. For this report, we are going to view year to date. This will include everything that has occurred from the start of the fiscal year, July 1st, then click Accept. When the journal entry sort pops up, click OK and then return and select PDF. When the report opens, you will be able to view all of the detail involved with an expenditure. You may view the journal entry by clicking on the blue hyperlink located next to the source and description. You can also click on the account link and drill into the account inquiry.
This concludes the year-to-date budget report tutorial. We hope that it was helpful and informative, and we encourage you to contact the Munis Help Desk at munishelp at pasco.k12.fl.us if you encounter any issues.